there's been a disturbance in the force. Hey, this is Neon for Clownfish TV. I'm just popping in today to talk a little bit more about Solo, a Star Wars story. Uh, I've been out on YouTube and there are a number of uh, Star Wars related channels that I do follow and I'm shocked at the number of people who are threatening to boycott the Han Solo movie. Uh, I've never seen anything like this. It's, it's, it's actually uh, pretty crazy, but I do understand why these folks are, are doing it. So let's back this up a little bit and talk about uh, some of the people who are threatening to boycott the Han Solo movie. Uh, some of the YouTube channels I can think of off the top of my head that are threatening a Han Solo boycott, uh, Alex Becker, uh, Geeks and Gamers, uh, there are a number of other Star Wars related channels and again I don't disagree with why they are withholding their money from Lucasfilm um, but what's strange about the uh, Han Solo boycott is that it's it's more about The Last Jedi than it is about the actual Solo movie. Nobody knows yet whether or not the Solo movie is actually going to be any good. Um, really what this is about, as I understand it, is sending a message to Lucasfilm and Disney that parts of the Star Wars fandom will no longer support them financially. Because really, at the end of the day, movie studios, that's really all they understand. You can complain online until you're blue in the face, but uh, really, at the end of the day, money talks. So the thought process is if enough people in the Star Wars fandom withhold their money from Solo, Lucasfilm will be forced to make changes um, that will hopefully <laughs> you know, lead to them not making more movies like The Last Jedi. And now we've ranted uh, uh, before about The Last Jedi. I'll put a link to that video in the uh, description for this video. But uh, needless to say, nobody here was a huge fan of that movie. Uh, the thing is, is we actually had some hope for Solo being somewhat decent. Uh, we did like Rogue One, and um, we're hoping Solo is actually a pretty decent movie. But I do understand why some people are threatening to boycott it. Now, what I don't know is whether or not this boycott, if you're going to call it that, will actually have any kind of an effect. Because right now, the movie is tracking at $170 million on opening weekend. Now, that could be wishful thinking. Supposedly, the company that uh, does research on these things, looks at social media mentions, and it might be a case of, you know, people are talking about the solo movie, but not in the most flattering light. There are quite a few videos out there talking about how, you know, if, if solo stinks, they're completely done with Star Wars. And, um, you know, it's really disappointing. I never thought Star Wars, of all the franchises out there, of all the pop culture franchises out there, that Star Wars would be the one that, uh, you know, people would just be willing to walk away from. And you've got Star Wars collectors walking away from the toys. You've got, uh, you know, a lot of dissent online about Star Wars. Right now, people calling for the uh, firing of Kathleen Kennedy, saying that she's mismanaged uh, the franchise. You know, it's just, it's, it's really unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I completely understand why people are threatening to boycott it. We will probably still go opening weekend to see if it's any good. Um, I'm not expecting it to be great, but I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised that it's not as awful as The Last Jedi was, but uh, I don't know. Do you think this boycott will gain any traction? Do you think people will actually withhold their money from the next Star Wars movie? Do you think Lucasfilm will rethink how they approach Star Wars uh, beginning with Episode Nine if Solo does not perform well at the box office? Uh, do you think that maybe the boycott is an overreaction? Do you support a boycott of Solo? Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. I'd, I'd love to, uh, to hear your reasoning behind either decision. And again, you know, uh, even the folks who are pushing for a boycott stress that that's their own personal opinion. They just don't want to support the current iteration of Star Wars. You know, I don't think there's any real political agenda behind it other than they just want Star Wars to seem more like Star Wars, at least the Star Wars that they grew up with. So I'm going to log off for now and uh, please, please subscribe to the channel for more pop culture videos, for more gaming videos, for more uh, art and animation videos. This is Neon for Clownfish TV. Talk to you later.